A nonprofit focused on equity and economic mobility in the South has made its way to Charleston for a three day event. The State of the South brings policymakers, nonprofit leaders, and artists all together for crucial conversations addressing racial equity, economic security, and poverty throughout the region. Our own Live Five's Destiny Kennedy joins us live in North Charleston tonight at the Royal Missionary Baptist Church where these sessions are held. Destiny, okay, what do organizers hope to accomplish with this event? Justin, organizers say it's important to have conversations that move people towards solutions and actions. The nonprofit MDC started in 1967 in Durham, North Carolina. The nonprofit now works in 13 states across the Southeast, including South Carolina, to promote economic mobility and equity. The three day event started on Monday as part of MDC's State of the South series. Session themes included ending predatory lending in South Carolina, gentrification and housing displacement, and supporting equitable entrepreneurship in Charleston. Policy makers, nonprofit leaders, and artists gathered to have solution oriented conversations about these topics. MDC president and CEO John Simpkins is moderating several sessions. We have two goals. Number one, we work with individuals who are in poverty to get out of poverty. And number two, we, we interrogate and correct systems that create poor people so that those systems operate as levers out of poverty as opposed to keeping people in poverty. At the event, organizers acknowledge traditional experts who conduct research in various fields and possess formal training, as well as embracing a broader definition of expertise, recognizing individuals within communities who offer valuable insights and firsthand experience that are equally essential. Local artist Asia May, who is Charleston's Poet Laureate, says it's important for artists to be a part of these conversations. As artists, we're supposed to reflect the times. We're supposed to be active members of our communities. We live here. It's, you know, outside of just being artists, like it is our responsibility to know what's going on in our neighborhoods. Demetrius Doctor, a Charleston jazz musician, performed three original songs, one of which was inspired by tonight's session on gentrification. Those people that um, who suffer from um, gentrification, who um, are forced to move, forced to leave their homes, and um, that struggle of uh, not wanting to leave where you've been your entire life and having to find somewhere else to go in, I kind of want to embody that emotion. Simpkin says that South Carolina is experiencing a great deal of economic development and prosperity. He says he believes people can make that prosperity available to everyone. The research and ideas shared at each session will be turned into a report that then will be shared with local policymakers and elected officials. The event is now sold out. It will end tomorrow morning and at 8.30 p.m. Reporting live in North Charleston, Destiny Kennedy, Live 5 News.